know for today. Grand Blaine Community Schools needs more drivers for the upcoming school year. 5,500 students depend on the bus, and the district doesn't want to have to cancel routes like it did last year. This year, the fleet has 48 drivers. It's looking for more. Grand Blaine's first day of school is August 26th. Today, students at Vassar Public Schools heading back to the classroom. Falcons, remember, pack your bags, check your schedules, and get ready to hop on the bus if you aren't at the bus stop already. Today will be a half a day with Central students getting out at 12.05 and 6th through 12th graders get out at 11.45. Michigan State University reopening Berkey Hall, the student union. Those two locations where a man opened fire in February 2023, killing three students and hurting five others. Michigan State University's president announcing the buildings have been turned into gathering spaces and small group meeting rooms. Berkey Hall will reopen August 26th. The renovated part of the student union will be open the week after Labor Day. And again, there are no classes scheduled for February 13th. Republican VP nominee J.D. Vance making another stop in Michigan Wednesday. He'll be near Grand Rapids and Byron Center. This will be his third trip to Michigan and second in a week. Vance will be speaking at Industrial Trucking Company Courts Incorporated. Doors open at 11. Former Lapeer County teacher facing nearly three dozen felonies related to child sex crimes. Keith Corbett teaching music at Chatfield School. And days after the accusations came to light in June, the school saying he's no longer an employee and it had no information that suggested students were involved. He faces 34 felony charges. His bond set at $500,000. A man from Alma.